talk about is Dr. Robert Murphy. He's a professor of infectious diseases at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Thanks, doctor. Good morning. Good morning. So this uh, new variant, uh, do we do anything different if they say it's more deadly? Well, yeah, and not only is it more deadly, but it is definitely more transmissible, easier to spread uh, between uh, people. Uh, actually, it was a little bit over a week ago that uh, the people in the United Kingdom kind of let it slip out that, uh, yeah, this thing might be a little more deadly. And uh, the numbers that they were using <clears throat> was that in a thousand cases, you typically expect about 10 people to die, about 1%. Uh, and that with this new variant, it was more like 13 or 14, so a 30 to 40% increase. And I, I believe that's what uh, Dr. Walensky is referring to. We had the story out of Lake Forest College and uh, a study showing younger adults are the bigger spreaders. Just how bad is it? Yeah, no, it's very interesting, and it ties in actually with the school story. So everyone thought it was the little kids and the going back to school that was spreading things, and, and actually right now, so because of a very dynamic situation, that's not the case. It's people between 20 and 49, especially 35 to 49. That's the biggest single group of spreaders. So they're first, the 20 to the 35s are second, Kids are only spreading it approximately 6% of the time. Hmm. When you put them all together, it's 82%, four out of five people. So they're spreading it, but they're not getting as sick as older people. Is that right? Uh, so there's two ways to count. So what we're talking about here is, is people getting new infection, okay? So they, they don't get infected at all. That, that is the primary metric. The secondary metric, is how sick people get, how many people end up in the hospital, how many people in the ICU, how many people die. So the seriousness is one thing, and the and the getting the infection is, a, is another thing. Two separate things. We, they're both good if you can limit uh, uh, getting infection and you can make people less sick, it's both great. But uh, right here, we're talking about preventing. All right, let's take a look at viewer questions. Can you clarify if the vaccine prevents COVID-19 or only keeps the receiver from becoming seriously ill? If it prevents COVID-19, how could the person who had a vaccine spread COVID-19? I think this is the question I asked yesterday. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and this actually goes on to the last comment I made. So, you know, ideally you want to prevent the infection altogether, but what these vaccines do is they give you enough immunity that you can handle an infection. So you don't die. You don't end up in the hospital, more or less likely. So it does both. And it, it decreases transmission. Uh, the study we, we actually talked about a couple of days ago, uh, and when they were testing people every week, those with the vaccine uh, 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 decreased uh, significantly. Hmm. Okay, another viewer question. Once all our family members and friends have been vaccinated twice, are we able to gather without having to wear our masks? Well, the, the official thing is you still should mask, but I mean, let's face it, you can relax a, a little bit. Things don't have to be that tight. Uh, but uh, the problem is, you know, even people who are vaccinated, uh, you know, they can still actually get maybe these new variants uh, that in the vaccines don't work 100%. Uh, so, you know, nothing is really 100% here. Now, at some particular point, it will be absolutely safe. But, you know, everyone is all, all happy. Oh, we're doing so well. We still have, in Illinois, 3,000 new cases a day and uh, some 50 people dying. Uh, the, you know, we're not ready to really uh, sit back and relax too much. So we have to be careful. All right, next all right. question. I've heard stories on the news that say not to take Tylenol when you have your vaccine. I'm nervous about my parents and their second dose because they tend to get bad fevers, which cause, uh, cause other issues for them. I trust you, Dr. Murphy. What say you? Uh, I wouldn't take anything before the vaccine. Uh, so get the vaccine. If you get a lot of aches and you get a fever or something like that, I would start with Tylenol. That has less effect on the immune system. Uh, and, you know, if that doesn't work and you're just miserable, yes, you can take ibuprofen if you have to. That's Advil. Uh, so, you know, I would I would go in that order, but don't take it before the vaccine. And if people want to reach out to you personally, it seems like they're asking you questions that they'd like to just have you over in a private Zoom meeting. Can yeah. they <laughs> or what's your address? People could just stop by and knock on your door. I get emails all the time. <laughs> I bet you do. I mean, well, you've yeah. been with us for, it's, has it been like a year now? It's got to be. Oh, well. Uh, 
Well, it's a year since I was in the studio. Wow. Well, I was in the studio in January. Yeah. Remember when I came back from China? Yes. All oh, right, oh. right. Well, thanks yep. for being I with us. Really scooped that chair pretty fast. Away yeah. from <laughs> he, he zoomed right away from me. Well, doctor, thanks for being with us every day. If you have a question, you can okay. post it on our Facebook page, and he answers questions every day at this time. Thanks again. Thank you.